I don't think so, <clears throat> because um, as the Senate President, uh, the third strongest person in the political equation in Nigeria, coupled with the constituency he represents, there is nothing like um, blunder in what he did, because uh, in politics, you know, they say there is no permanent enemy and there is no permanent friend. And the politicians, especially those in his status, always look for where they feel their interests will be served. I think he strongly realized that his interests could not be served in APC, going by the travels in court, or whatever we can call it, that he passed through in the last three years. And then, you know, we're approaching 2019, and each and every politician, from the world to the national level, is now scheming to remain afloat. And you know, in the National Assembly, that's where you have the highest attrition rate in the political uh, uh, environment, especially in Nigeria. You realize that uh, 70 to 80 percent of many legislators hardly come back. But Saraki's case is different. If he wants, because he is the emperor in his home state of Kwara, meaning that he decides who gets what for each and every position. So if it is an issue of getting ticket to come back to the National Assembly, Saraiki does not have any problem with that. But the most important thing is that he is also eyeing for the seat of the presidency. This is my take, and this is the take of many political pundits in Nigeria. He will most likely vie for the presidency under the platform of PDP. But where you will have issue is whether he will get the ticket or not. Well, it strongly depends on how they harvest and how they manage the bumper harvest. You know, anywhere in the world, it is good for political parties to have new members or there are members that left them for one reason or the other to return. But the most important thing, which many political parties, especially in Nigeria, hardly get right, is managing success. They are meeting some people who really endure the stress, who endured all the trauma, who passed through a lot of turbulence uh, in the last three years since they lost power. So who do you think will now sacrifice his political ambition simply because uh, a former member of O, an outgoing member of National Assembly, is going back to default. We hereby inform the Senate that we, the undersigned, Senator Dino Milai Kogiwes, Senator Bernadette, Gabas Ganade, Ben Yestik, Mr. Alain Wadi, Tidio Show, Ubo Central, hereby inform that we, the undersigned, are changing our political affiliation from the All Progressive Congress to the People's Democratic Party. We thank you for your exemplary leadership, as always. Yes, sincerely. And then secondly, they have to, you know, last week they said they would rebrand. Uh, rebranding means they will change their name. So which name are they going to adopt? And how can they convince Nigerians that it is actually a reformed PDP? It is actually not a leopard wearing a different clothes.